So last year, I shot this video on, I tried manifesting for 100 days, and here's what happened. In very cliche YouTube fashion. Now, I'm someone who's kind of borderline with a lot of manifesting stuff. I'm probably the first dude to call bullshit on these pseudo-spiritual practices. But the results were pretty interesting, and they taught me some useful things that I've since implemented in my life long term. But since then, I've evolved my approach to this, quote, manifesting thing, and I want to share a newer process that I do that's a little bit less fluffy and a little bit more practical. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book, Master the Day. So if you're into this kind of stuff, the first link below is for a free journaling worksheet. Now I've used journaling extensively to reinvent my life, kind of script out and design the dream life I want, and then begin building it. So if it interests you, check out the first link below. It's for a free worksheet, and you'll get an email every couple days on how you can actually use journaling to change your life. So the first thing that I've since updated my previous goal setting practice, the first tactic is really specifically to get unusually clear on what you want. So I'll give you an example. Let's say your goal is you want to go to LA and you're trying to find an apartment. You're trying to go to New York. This is the level of specificity that I'm talking about. I'll read through exactly the criteria I have put down here. So I write down the perfect vibe with perfect sunlight. It has the same feeling like my current apartment, which is a perfect 10 every time I walk in. It gives me a smile on my face. It's around 1000 to 1200 a month with parking. I have the best roommate ever. I have close friends nearby. And it makes me feel relaxed financially and like I'm having a ton of fun. Or something more expensive, but that's a great deal on a studio or a one-bedroom. I'm in a neighborhood-like area with trees and grass outside to walk around in, and it makes me feel calm and peaceful. I have the perfect bedroom or living room for shooting videos, and if not that, in my medical clinic, I'll have an extra room or the clinic room with perfect lighting to shoot videos there. It makes me feel like I'm relaxed and I have no pressure. And the location is ideally no more than 20 minutes commute to my dream office, to the dream gym to work out in, to salsa and bachata classes, and a boxing, Muay Thai, or Judo gym to train in, the best coffee shops to work and study in, yoga studio, my best friends, my dream curl, and my 10 out of 10 fun weekend plans. It's also the ideal location in time and in space for reaching my top three goals for the year which are building the best friend group of my life and having the most fun, pursuing my dharma and building a full private practice helping my patients and building something bigger than myself, and my absolute dream girl with that rare feeling that I'm completely smitten over, and finally, the possibility of fostering a dog or having a dog. So it first begins with this crazy specific vision, not just an apartment for 1200 bucks or less in New York, this is like next level specificity. Now, the second thing is really praying or intending or willing a definite lead. So this one woman I've really gotten into is Florence Shin. She was a Christian mystic living around the late 1800s to the early 1900s in America. And she has these really, really interesting and inspiring and unique principles that I've been using ever since. So she has this one practice that I do twice a day. And here's what she says. She says, Speak the word and do not do anything until you get a definite lead. Demand the lead, saying, Infinite Spirit, reveal to me the way. Let me know if there is anything for me to do. And then she follows up, The answer will come through intuition, or a hunch, a chance remark from someone, or a passage in a book, etc. The answers are sometimes quite startling in their exactness. So I actually, every morning and every night, I literally am like, I know my dream apartment is out there. Give me a definite lead. Give me a connection. Give me a hunch. Give me an intuition. Like, throw me a bone. Show me what I need to do next. I think it or I say it twice a day for whatever my primary goals are for that year. And the last step is I act as if I just placed an order at In-N-Out Burger and the burger, aka the dream, is coming. Like the order's been placed. It's just coming. I don't know when, I don't know how, but it's coming. And this is really important because even if that goal never comes true, if you live with a state of kind of positive expectation, like I'll get there eventually, 
I'll find that person eventually. I'll get my dream job eventually. It just puts you in a good mood. And it's a lot more likely that you're going to reach your goals when you are in this positive, good mood, as opposed to, why isn't it happening? Like, maybe I'm going to be forever alone. Maybe I'm just going to be broke forever. Just the positive expectation, if nothing else, puts you in a good mood. Now, the last thing I do is I pay really close attention to little feelings that could be intuitions. So I've shared a video here on the intuitive journaling technique that I do every single day. I track in Evernote every single time I'm like, that would be a good idea or there's something to that. Because to me, that's usually the signature and the hallmark of intuition. That exact sensation, like, oh, it's like a little whispery type feeling. There's something there. Like if you're on a date with someone and you're feeling an unusual connection, like something really weird in a good way going on here. It's that, but it's subtle. So I pay really, really close attention to exactly what that is. And I write down every one and I begin acting on every single one of them. All right, guys, it's a much more simple ritual that I've been doing. I find that it works absolutely amazing and it's highly dependent on really specific goals with being really good at trusting your hunches and your intuition and trusting your gut about things. So if you want to get started, I would recommend downloading the free journaling worksheet. Go through those exercises I talk about in the free email series and then see if that helps you. But again, it's the first link below for the journaling worksheet. And I also have related videos on this exact same topic right here.